What's up everyone? I just wanted to make a quick video about this. So this is a 0.5, a 0.5 pound weight. It's for a barbell. It's really small. I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's uh, quite tiny. And I, I was thinking about this the other day. I was, I was sitting in the gym and I was throwing these things on the bar. And I was thinking about how much of an analogy for life these, uh, these little things are. So if you want to attain something in life. So, you know, the, most of my videos, uh, most of the content that I put out there is fitness oriented or nutrition oriented, uh, but it's also lifestyle oriented sometimes. And that's what I'd like to make this video about today. So this little 0.5 pound weight, how is this related to achieving your goals in life, whether they're fitness or nutrition or, or just lifestyle uh, in general? Well, if you think about it, why on earth do I have a 0.5 pound weight? Well, it's because your body can't put uh, five pounds on the bar sometimes. It can't put 10 pounds on the bar sometimes. So you have to incrementally uh, increase the weight over a longer duration of time. It's called progressive overload. So maybe you go from 100 pounds to 101 pounds to 102 pounds. And these small incremental changes, while they don't make any huge leap forward in the week that you're adding those incremental changes, over the span of a year, they sure do. So if you add one pound a week, for 52 weeks, that's 52 pounds that you just added to your bench press or whatever, uh, whatever your uh, whatever you're adding that weight to. Now you could, of course, add two pounds or two and a half pounds or whatever it is, whatever your uh, limits are. Um, but those incremental changes are what I'm getting at. So that's just like life, right? Like if you have a goal in life, if you want to improve your career, if you want to um, improve your means. Uh, if you want to move to a, a, um, a, a particular place in the world, or if you want to have a particular job or have a particular relationship, uh, it's not going to happen overnight. You can't just make those big changes uh, all at once. I mean, you can, but uh, the likelihood is uh, pr probably quite small that you're going to succeed. So instead, you can make these incremental changes. You can start seeing uh, where you are and where you want to get and say, what's the first step in order to get to where I want to get? Oh, it's this. Okay, I'm going to do that this week. And then after that week is done, oh, what's the next step? What's the smallest thing I can do this week? So incremental changes. Now there's a caveat to that because imagine I'm adding one pound or two pounds a week. Let's say two pounds. Let's say I'm adding, because that's what I'm doing right now with these guys. I'm adding two pounds a week to uh, my larger lifts in a progressive overload training plan. So that's great. It works out beautifully on a spreadsheet, but there's something that that spreadsheet will not take into account. So number one is sometimes you get sick. Sometimes you go on vacation. Sometimes you just don't feel like getting into the gym. Sometimes you have an injury, whatever those things are, all of a sudden you're not going to be adding two pounds on a week, right? You're not, you're going to take that week. You're not going to be adding two pounds on maybe the week after that, you're not even adding two pounds on. So there's going to be these dips in progress, uh, but that doesn't matter because the only thing that does matter is when that dip in progress, uh, stops and you're able to continue on, you start adding two pounds a week again. Um, the other thing that it can't take into account is your uh, when you get to a plateau. So I can add two pounds a week. Let's say I never get sick. Let's say I never get injured. Let's say that uh, I never take another vacation in my life. All I'm going to do is train from here to the end of eternity. Well, there's 52 weeks in a year, last time I checked. So if I had two pounds a week, that's 104 pounds, right? So 104 pounds at the end of a year. Um, that's a lot of weight. So possibly, maybe, maybe I could add 104 pounds just following that, that straightforward plan by the end of the year uh, for a squat, for a deadlift, but for a bench press, that's, that's a lot of weight to add to a bench press. Uh, let's take that two years. So 104, 208 pounds in two weeks. Can you add 208 pounds to your bench press in, in or two weeks, two years? Uh, well, the likelihood is pretty small. Um, can you add, uh, oh, now my math, 312? Can you add 312 pounds in, in the span of three years to your bench press? Well, the likelihood, again, is, is pretty small unless you're you know, say, taking performance enhancing drugs or this is the, the only thing that you do. Um, but the main thing is, is that that linear progression, uh, it, there's, so the, the one thing is the injuries, the one thing is the, um, the, the vacations or just life events that come up. But the other thing is, is your body will only continue to adapt and, and respond to that same stimulus for so long until it says, you know what, I'm good. I, I just can't invest any more of my resources into getting better at this particular lift. So then you have to change things up. So instead of maybe doing two pounds a week, maybe you, you uh, move into some speed work or you do some agility training or whatever, you're going to change the stimulus on your body so that your body is forced to respond uh, to that stimulus again. So how does that work out in life? Well, maybe you're doing something in order to get to a particular goal in life. Uh, maybe you have a particular life goal or a particular career goal or a relationship goal or whatever, and you've been doing things the same 
uh, for so long. You've been doing the same thing uh, week after week, month after month, year after year, in order to get the same, uh, to, to get a particular result. Maybe those results, maybe your progression towards that uh, outcome that you're trying so hard to get at, it's stalled, it's plateaued. You're not seeing the same results that you started when you first started. So, well, the same results that you saw when you first started. You're not seeing the same results uh, that you saw when you first started. So maybe it's time that you take a step back and reassess, okay, well, these are all the benefits that I've got from this particular path that I've gone down. Um, these are working well. What parts can I remove and free up some time for new, uh, for new ways of accomplishing this goal? What other areas, what other insights, what other uh, opportunities am I not seeing because I'm so focused on this 100%? Maybe pull out you know, 50, 60, 80% of what you're doing and inject a new, um, a new way of doing things. Keeping what's working really, really well, removing what is not working or not working as well as it could be, and looking for new opportunities to put in there. So that's uh, going after a life goal, a relationship goal, whatever, whatever your goal is. So again, long-winded way of saying, this little guy here, I really do believe that this is an analogy for achieving anything in life. It's a 0.5 pound weight. If I pick this up, it feels like nothing. After a year of training, adding these things on to uh, whatever lift you're doing, it adds up to all the difference in the world. So what small, minute change can you work on this week? What 0.5 pound weight can you add to your life to your goal today? That will make all the difference in a year from now. So thanks for watching. I hope this wasn't uh, too long-winded. I'm, I'm gonna try and make more of these uh, videos when I feel inspired to do so. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll talk to you soon.